This lesson is about the dissection of a pig kidney. Safety precautions need to be followed. Handle sharp instruments with caution, always point them away and cut away from you. When you have finished, wash your hands with detergent and warm water before leaving the lab. To start the dissection, place the kidney on a tile or dissection board with the pelvis side down. Holding the kidney firmly with one hand, make a longitudinal cut along the kidney with a sharp scalpel. This will take time and will take many slices to get through the kidney. The cortex is found around the outside and is a brown colour and it's where the Bowman's capsule, the proximal convoluted tubule and the distal convoluted tubule are found. Next layer in is the medulla where the loop of Henle and collecting ducts are found. It is split up into a number of sections known as the renal pyramids which are the red areas divided by the calyces. The calyces are tougher white areas where collecting ducts join to enter the pelvis and the pelvis then runs into the ureter. On this kidney you can see the browner cortex around the outside, then the medulla with the red pyramids separated by the calyces which lead down into the pelvis and finally you can clearly see the ureter in the middle. It is important to make a clear biological drawing of the dissected kidney to show the main areas identified. A very sharp pencil should be used, label lines should be drawn horizontally where possible using a sharp pencil and ruler and labels should be written in ink. A true representation should be drawn so it can be clearly mapped to your specimen as shown here. You may like to take a photo to put into your lab books. Making labels for your specimen helps to clearly show identified areas. Finally, you need to annotate your labels on your biological diagram. Annotations are there to briefly explain the role of each of the structures.